Howdy arty aliens and welcome. I'm Paul Gateman. I draw stuff. Sometimes I make stuff. In today's video I'm going through the contents of Easter Coloring Book, which I recently created and then published on Amazon's KDP platform. I gave the title the American Spelling because I wasn't sure about using English versus American. You may have heard me ponder the creation of a colouring book or two a while back. I've finally done it. Yesterday, March 22, I noticed I had a bestsellers rank. Uh, as I'm new to Amazon, I'm not sure if that means I've either sold a book or people are clicking on links and viewing the book. If I have sold a book, well, that's a nice unexpected surprise. As well as classifying my book as a children's colouring book, ages 4 to 10. I also added it as a Easter holiday book because I figured, yeah, why not? It is Easter and it's a holiday book. That seems to have given me number one in that category. Why it has shown up in adult colouring books is a little mysterious, however. I created all of the artwork in Adobe Illustrator using a mix of shape, line, path tools and also the pencil tool which I used to trace drawings I then scanned into my computer and put into Illustrator. Uh, okay, let's get into the contents. I chose one of the images from the book, coloured it in and used it for the front cover. This is to show an example of the results of colouring in one of the drawings and also to preview the contents. The title is meant to stand out and be fun and bold because it's a kiddies book. I think a nice touch is allowing the owner to personalise their book with a this is a colouring book belongs to page. So the first page is this, just a bunny rabbit with Happy Easter. There's a few of these Happy Easter sort of themed drawings. Next up, there's a spread of a bunch of the eggs I developed. So this is this little sort of tessellated section of eggs. Following that, there'll be a large egg. Here's a little uh, egg hatching chicken thing. Most of that's in Illustrator. I had to draw the feet on a pad and then scan them in and Trace them. There's another test later uh, spread of some design elements in Illustrator. Another big happy Easter. So this is a bunny rabbit with some detail applied to it and a few of the eggs just placed into the image. Following up is another big egg. Most of the eggs are free of backgrounds. I think I only put background on one. There's a sequence of the hatching chick. So popping out of shell, getting rid of the egg top, putting its legs out. And we've got a larger chicken in front of a box of hatching eggs. I'm trying to keep all these simple to allow for easy colouring. Here's a, another egg spread. Some of the eggs, when they're shrunk down, the details are a bit small, but I've kept them large enough to be okay on the A4 size that this book prints out at. The Easter basket. So I draw the Easter basket. Sorry, I drew the Easter basket in Illustrator and then added the eggs I'd already created. Uh, here's a little uh, flower pattern, which one of my last uh, items to create for the book. And that pattern might do well in an adult book. Here's the only egg with an actual background. Uh, I think it just busy things up, but it is good for colouring, so that's the whole point. Here's the bunny, which I've repeated on the back cover. I thought that was the weakest drawing in there, which is why I provided it as an example of what the colouring can accomplish. Here's another large egg. These are spread fairly regularly throughout the book. Next up there's another bunny and eggs, which is the one you'll see on the front cover. Following this there's a happy Easter with the hatching chick. And you'll see I've reused that chick element a few times, which is being economical. Another big egg using patterns. Basically I drew horizontal patterns in Illustrator and then used the clipping tool to get, get rid of them from the background. Here's your standard sort of hexagonal Easter egg look. Followed by the flower pattern with some bunnies to make it Easterish. And also Easter is supposed to be a new rebirth, which is why there's flowers. A little cart uh, drawn in Illustrator with some eggs whacked in it. And Happy Easter again. Followed by another large egg with a simple star pattern. And next up will be a whole bunch of eggs spread across the page. Interspersed with uh, 
the hatching chick. Following this, there's a happy Easter spread again. So a chick, a bunny, a couple of eggs. And then we've got what I like to call leggy eggy coming up, which is just the hatching chick sort of rotated, but with the top shell still on. Then we have what you might consider to be the traditional Easter egg you'll find in shops with the sort of a hexagonal scale pattern. This was just an egg with circles and I made it interesting by adding curves to all the circles, which gives it more of a 3D feel. And also allows colouring in to be more interesting. Another egg spread using existing elements. And finally, here's a little sort of a garden scene I drew in Photoshop and then put some eggs in. The back cover shows sample content from the book. I picked images to represent what is inside and I also selected what I felt was the weakest image, which is the bunny, and I coloured that in to demonstrate that it turns out well with colour added. Anywho, if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, you were inspired to draw in a sketchbook or journal, etc. of your own, subscribe, like and share. If you like the book enough to treat yourself or gift somebody a copy, there is a link in the description. Until next time, you have been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yateman. Ciao, take care and happy drawing.